Once again, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. We're popping the balloon or we're finding love this evening. Today, 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 today. Once again, guys, I would like to encourage you to, if you like the content that we're doing, we have to do. if you like the content we're putting out so far, go ahead, click that subscribe. If there's something you want to say, go ahead and put it down there in the comments. A like is a currency of YouTube. So give me some likes if you do like the way it's going so far. We're moving along and we're saying we're popping the balloon and we're finding some love. All right, let's go. Right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's Ooh. your name? Felicia. Oh, elegant. I like. I like the presentation. I like. She's tall and slender. I like. I like. I'm holding my balloon for this one. Let's hear how she speaks and what she says. Valicia? Yes. How old are you? I'm 37. And what do you do? I'm a real estate agent and broker mm -hmm. in the Arizona area and DC as well. Okay, cool. Real estate. Mm -hmm. Red flag. Uh, what are some things I could do for fun? Um, I'm really chill. I like speakeasies. I like staying at home and cuddling sometimes. <laughs> I like um, adventuring. I try anything at least once. So. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I'm looking for someone who is also adventurous, someone who's looking for a serious relationship with the goal of marriage. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking for someone who is, I guess, multidimensional. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, I know this is cliche, but I, I would say cigarette smoking. Um, uh, I won't say smoking in general, but it depends. Um, I don't mind if a man has kids, but I would like to know how old if under they two do. for me might be a dis discussion to be had. Okay. <laughs> um, outside of that, I would say the other thing is playing video games on a daily basis and it's not for your hobby. I mean, it's not for your profession. Mm. A hobby is a yeah, little problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we haven't got any pop balloons. Thank you. So I am going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pick. Uh-oh. Okay. Let me have you hold that. And I, I am going to have you pop two balloons based off of two what you're seeing. Balloons. Whoever doesn't really fall into your type, whatever it is. Go ahead and pop two balloons. And no questions? No questions this round. I'm right. I know, it's tough. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. No, I don't. It's not. Okay, and then one more. Oh, my God. It's... Okay, let's start right Oh, man. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a dress girl. You're here for a husband. I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. Let's get it. Get over here. Okay. Uh, your name and age? Hubert, 37. Okay. And Hubert, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, I was trying to give her a little bit of time to warm me up. Okay. She didn't say anything too bad. Um, I did notice some things that I don't like, but, mm -hmm. you know, I was just trying to give her some grace. Okay. Yeah. But is she someone that's your type, like you would usually go for? Um, she cool. <laughs> she cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so why did we end up popping his balloon? Well, because it's a tough choice up here. Mm -hmm. um, but I would, I, based off of the initial vibe in the eye contact, okay. I was just getting from other areas, I've had to make a decision. Okay. Sounds good. And then we did pop one more. Let's head on over here. Your name and age? My name is Micah. I'm 42. Okay. And Micah, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I like the things she was saying, it was kind of interesting, the things you were saying. Uh, and you seem, you got like good energy. You seem like you have good energy. Thank you. So, yeah. I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right, now why did we end up popping his? Um, oh my God. Um, initial attraction. I would just say it, it's nothing that I could pinpoint. I just didn't feel the initial attraction there. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. Respect. Thank yeah. you. All right, so. Well, well, um, I'm liking how she speaks. I'm liking how she's presenting herself thus far. And I'm liking that dress. 
Yes, I am. It's simple now, but yeah, she does look good and she does um present herself well. But let's go. Now you can go ahead and ask a question. All right. <laughs> so I kind of just want to know like a little bit about what some of you guys like to do for fun. Okay, cool. Your name and age and what do you like to do for fun? Uh, my name is La. I'm 40. I like to travel. I pretty much travel. Um, I like doing comedy shows and you know, um, adventurous stuff too. You know, I'm an adrenaline junkie. You know, I got motorcycles and jet skis and stuff like that. Okay. That's pretty much Awesome. Let's head down over here. Your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? My name Brian, 38 from D.C. Um, what I like to do for fun um, is pretty much typically travel. Um, I like to be by the water. Um, honestly, I adventurous, so I spontaneously do anything that my woman like to do. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. Over here, your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Johnny, I'm 38. Um, babe, I don't have fun. <laughs> it's always work with me. But okay. at the same time, I'm an adventurous person. I'm a personality. I, I love, you know what I mean? It's hard to explain, okay. but I'm always at work. I'm a single father, so it's like, yeah. All work, no play. Yeah. Okay. okay. Indeed. <laughs> Your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Danny. I'm 38. I'm a little bit of a brainiac. I like to play chess. Um, I got a podcast where I read from Prosperity Bible. Um, I recently retired from basketball. I'm not as good as I thought I was. Um, <laughs> it's okay. We all have then, dreams. Um, like sports, uh, Stone Mountain, running up the mountain and stuff like that. I got a couple of kids, so like whatever they like to do, I'm into. I'm real supportive with that. So, you know, I like to just create fun out of what. I retired from basketball. I'm not as good as I thought I was. <laughs> good one, my brother. Good one. Good one. You keep hitting it. Whatever. Okay. You know, talk shit a little bit. <laughs> I like that. Okay. All right. Let's head on right. back. Okay, so based off of everything you've heard, what you've seen, whatever it is, okay. I'm going to have you pop one balloon. Okay. I know. I'm sorry. Okay, so why did we end up popping his? Um, for me, it was just a preference on the face tattoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just not. Indeed. I yeah, understand. that's it. It's fine. Yeah. All right. So, Johnny, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? I mean, she's gorgeous. Thank she you. looks like she has a beautiful soul and whatnot. But thank you. I understand. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's ask the remaining guys another question. Okay. So if money were no option, where would you live? And where do you live now? Okay. Start over here. Hmm. Actually, no, let's give him time. He's still thinking. Let's go down there. <laughs> <laughs> let's start down here. All right. The answer to your question. You know, I lived a lot of places. I like I like Atlanta. Okay. Um, I like the network. Um, to be honest with you, I live in Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, so you want to stay? You don't. You want to go nowhere? <laughs> All right. We be honest. You know, be honest. I probably would stay like somewhere. That's by the water, but don't get all the BS that water bring, like tsunamis and all that stuff. Like okay. I like Atlanta because the weather is perfect. You know, it's, it's it's cold for like a short period of time, and then everything else is straight. And I don't like drama. I don't like weather. I don't like. I just like to be chill, cool. Got gotcha. you. So that's why I choose Georgia. Okay. No tornadoes okay. and stuff. I like it. You got family there. <laughs> okay. All right. On over here. All right, so you, your question was, um, where would I live, or what was your question? Um, if sorry. money were no option, where would you live, and where do you currently live? Well, I currently, I'm currently residing in the DMV area, outside of D.C., Maryland okay. area. Um, but uh, if money, basically saying if money was an option, well, honestly, I would like to live somewhere where it's nice and hot, like maybe Florida, somewhere like that, somewhere where Arizona? It's, Arizona, cool. I actually like it out here. It's, it's pretty <laughs> chill, you know, a little hot, but it's not as humid as East Coast, um, but... Yeah, somewhere where it's water, beach at, where I can, you know, like to be by the water, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Okay, you had some time. What's your answer? 
Um, if money wasn't an option, definitely like a Bali or somewhere, somewhere different, like just a whole different country or something. And I'm okay. currently residing in New York. New York. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. It is time to pop. Oh. Yes. We're going to pop out of these three guys. Whose balloon are we popping? One? Just one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, boo. Okay, why did we pop his balloon? Pop I have to. I like. <laughs> it's not an easy choice up here, but um, he seemed like he wasn't really sure mm. on his answer, and yeah, you looked a little confused. Um, but it's okay. I don't want to stay in Georgia though. Like that's just not my vibe. So that's Should really. Just say where you want to go then. No, I want to hear from you. This is <laughs> about us. Where you want, babe? This is yeah. togetherness. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Danny, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, she got like a natural goddess type vibe. Um, she seemed like she's caring and um, really dives deep into a relationship and falls head over heels and make whatever, like tries to make it work. You know what I'm saying? And so I was hearing her out and she's very attractive, you know, so she seemed like she's easy going, cool to kick it with. So, yeah. Uh, he did a lot of thank you for that appreciate it <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right so homeboy was buttering her up man he was putting it on thick he was hoping she'd say take that balloon back man <laughs> however that one didn't work out in his favor this time but let's see what happens for that i hope though um, as, I, as i mentioned earlier I'm rooting for this girl. She does have, uh, you know, the, the spirit, that calming spirit around her. So let's see how she goes. So we do have two guys left. Right. Guys, any questions for our lady here? You have one? Okay, we'll start here. Then we'll go over there. I'm assuming you don't have any kids, right? I don't. Do you want to be a mother? I do. Hey, there you go. You're beautiful. Thank you. I would never try to waste your time. That's something everybody should experience if they want to. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to have, like, start over again. I have two kids. I don't want to start over again. I understand. Yeah, I definitely want someone who's still open to the idea. Even though I may not have kids, I still want someone open to the idea. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Now, prior to, you know, her saying she wants more kids, you had your balloon unpopped. Why so? She's beautiful. She's um she has in, in real estate, so she has like a money mind. It's right up my alley. I like that. Um, yeah, and she has like a, a good demeanor about it and everything. Thank you. Okay. Now is Law someone that's your type? I I I do think if he was outside, I would say hi. I hey. would <laughs> I would entertain you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And we do have one balloon left unpopped, and he did have a question. Okay. What's your question? Um. So my question is, in the household. What is the as, as far as the roles? Okay, what is, I love that. What, what does it look like as far as the man role and the woman role? What does it look like in, in your household? All right, so I'm a little old school, and I'm glad you asked this because I was raised by my grandparents and so, also in a Christian upbringing. Okay. So I do value the man as the lead, okay. and I'm going to, with good reason, submit to my man. Ooh, okay, um, Ooh, I and like I want to like make sure, of course, that it's someone that I pick that's right that I can trust his leadership, but I definitely feel like that comes first. And if I do get married, my husband is also gonna come before everything and everyone else, even if I do have kids. Some people take that wrong, but you know what I'm saying. Biblically, I have the order. Okay. All right, that sounded like a good answer if I did. Um. <laughs> All right, let me bring you up. Come on up here, let's, <laughs> let's come on up here. Man, I, I, I mean, I don't know if she's been rehearsing, all the right things to say but she said the right things just now here all right y'all any final questions i did i wanted to know if you have children yes i have two boys how old are they five and 18. okay i like that yeah and what do you look for in a woman well honestly i look for a woman that's like you, you just described yourself submissive let the man lead know what they want mm -hmm. you know what i mean respect i'm big on respect yeah. uh, you know a woman that you know that knows what she wants 
And um, that's pretty much it, you know. Okay. I like that answer. Big on respect. That's it. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, then, with this being said, is it going to be a yes for you for her? I am think it's going to be a yes, yes. Okay. I have one more question. Oh, oh my God. Okay, go no, ahead. No, it's, it's, it's not, not a deal breaker. I just wanted to know what part of the DMV, because I live in the DMV, too. Well, I, I'm, I grew up in Southwest D.C., Okay. So, like I said, I'm in the area. I'm like uh, outside of Maryland right now. So. Okay. I'm in Silver Spring. Okay. Oh, that's close. So. Wow. He said yes. Now, is it going to be a yes for you for yes. him? We got a match. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on. I'll be go ahead. It's one of them. Oh. I was rooting for her, and I think homeboy here got himself. A gem. I mean, no kids. And she says she is submissive to her husband. She spoke about respect. I think she said all the right things so far. But let's see how this goes. Come on, come on, come on. Nah. It is once again that time where I would invite you guys to go ahead and click the subscribe and click the like and click the share and drop a comment down here in the comment box once again. We are going through, we're going through, we're going through. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> hey, let's give it up for them. <laughs>